So after that, uh, we, uh, I introduced uh, the speaker to the Yahoo Japan team, and Yahoo Japan has a commercial alliance with Shaker for Japan market. I see. So we like to capture Amazon before. Yeah. So which yes. stage do you invest? Yeah, uh, yes. We focus on the yes, as a commercial alliance, but if the, we can invest the Maybe the under the season A or B type of company. So because of that type of the company, they have uh, enough resources to expand the business in Japan. Uh, well, I actually would add a little thing, uh, a note that Yahoo Japan has been investing in companies uh, since its very beginning. Uh, back when I was there uh, in, from 2001 to 2004, I think there were over 50 subsidiaries or small companies. They might have been small investments, 5, 10, 15 percent. So it's actually part of Yahoo Japan's DNA. And I think what's interesting now is those were all Japanese investments. Now they're investing looking outside of Japan. Uh, when I look at Yamaha, most of you probably know Yamaha as a motorcycle company um, or uh, wave runners, snowmobiles, jet skis, all really fun, cool uh, outdoor recreational vehicles. Uh, what a lot of people don't realize is 80% of Yamaha's revenue comes from outside of Japan. All of our R&D, all of our uh, uh, main management is in uh, actually a rural part of Japan called Iwata. It's not even in Tokyo. And there's a real disconnect with what's going on in the world as the technology changes. And so there was a real desire within Yamaha to uh, think of new ways to acquire technology and to expand our businesses. Just to give you an example, uh, how many people here know, uh, knew that uh, Yamaha Motors has uh, an, an industrial drone that's been in commercial use for 20 years? No one. Uh, one person. Yeah, one person. All right, nice. Oh, you work for Yamaha. <laughs> so th this is a great example. We, we have a three and a half meter long uh, in, uh, unmanned drone a helicopter that's doing agricultural spraying in Japan, it's been in use for 20 years, has over 2 million flight hours, and nobody knows that outside of Japan. Um, we also do in, uh, industrial automation. We do robotics for factories, another line of business that people aren't aware of. And when you think about robotics, you think about unmanned systems, whether it's uh, unmanned vehicles or uh, unmanned drones, there are a lot of applications, and the startups here in Silicon Valley and around the world, frankly, are innovating so rapidly that if a company like Yamaha doesn't pay attention to what's going on in the market, it'll, it'll fall behind. So for us, it's really, it's kind of survival. It's like, how do we take our existing technology, and how do we find new applications, new markets, uh, and even new technologies, new lines of business that we may want to go into? I see, I see. So both company set up agendas, and then now, you know, uh, you have budget to invest, and now, um, how, how do you invest? Which stage you, you touch upon a little bit, and then how you build network, how you source, um, you know, do you have any uh, talk that you can, you can share? Um, yeah, okay. Yes, no, 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 yeah, only I mentioned, uh, we are not uh, uh, one of the AP of the Taiwan Stackup, so, uh, they have uh, the broad reach to the, uh, the seed companies. Also, the, uh, we have uh, started invested into the, uh, the venture capital EQ. Uh, the, they are interested in their portfolio company to us. And if the, uh, we can make uh, some uh, opportunities for Japan market with them, uh, we can consider our uh, investment. Uh, most of the cases, uh, our investment with the commercial alliance is uh, uh, around 2 million. This, uh, that project is, must be uh, very important for the Yaku Japan. Uh, we can invest uh, much more money and uh, we can invest to the joint venture in Japan. I see. Well, so for us, it's uh, Yamaha Motor Ventures and Lab is brand new. It's two months old. Um, one of the things that I, I think was really smart about Yamaha and what actually attracted me to joining Yamaha was that Yamaha did not have a preconceived idea or plan about how it was going to be invested. They actually very intentionally hired from outside of Yamaha. Uh, so that we, have a, we have three guys on the team, uh, three partners. We're all from outside Yamaha. We, we come with different backgrounds and skills. And we were given the mandate of come up with a plan. 
tell us how we should invest, what we should be investing in, what markets we should be looking at. And we're going to be spending the rest of this year putting that plan forward to senior management to get approval. Uh, I can tell you, though, that the areas that interest us are some of the things I already mentioned, robotics, industrial automation, uh, unmanned systems, connected vehicles. Uh, if you just, we all know, everyone in this room knows, at some point, every vehicle that comes off of Yamaha's assembly line will be electric and connected. We know that. It's just a question of when. Is it going to be five years? Is it going to be 10 years? Is it going to be 20 years? BMW recently announced that within 10 years, all of their vehicles are going to be electric. It's going to happen. So how do we prepare ourselves as a company? And that creates a lot of new opportunities. It creates a lot of new industries. It creates a lot of new jobs. And we just want to make sure that we're leading that and we're not catching up. So that's part of it. So in terms of investing, uh, we're really looking at everything from C to Series A, Series B, things that might not even be proven. We don't even know possibly uh, how it's going to have a strategic fit to the Um and That's really scary for a large corporation that's historically been building uh, hardware. And we say, yeah, you know, we want to invest in this company. Uh, they have a service business or they have a software application. And it doesn't, it's, not a, it's not a physical, it's not a motorcycle kind of getting their minds around that. Um, but as I said before, it's, it's survival. Uh, and, and any corporation out there that isn't seriously looking at early stage investing or investing through other funds as an LP uh, is a dinosaur and it's going to go extinct. I'll just say it right now. I see. So, so George, you know, um, and of course you touch up on becoming an LP of um, like a, a venture capital fund. What do you think the app is that necessarily for Asian corporate investors to become LP of Silicon Valley VC or you can just you know, go directly invest in a bunch of stocks? So if you have uh, people here in the United States who understand the uh, community, have a network, you can probably just jump right into doing that. If you hire the right people and you have the right people already on the team. But most Asian companies, I, I think Yahoo Japan is a good example of that. They historically were only in Japan. So how do you kind of shortcut that? How do you build that network? Yahoo Japan is not Yahoo. It, it's a licensee. Yahoo has its own network here in, in Silicon Valley. But if, if you want to shortcut that, a very good way to do that is to become an LP. Uh, you guys were also LPs in uh, SoftBank Capital. Yes. Yeah. Um, so one of the ways to do that is you can put some money in. And you don't have to put a lot in. You can learn. You can use this opportunity to learn to build your network. I think Yahoo Penn did another great thing. They sent people over here, created an office, and, and ran it full time. So just being an LP is not enough. You have to have somebody to collect that information. So uh, there's for Asian companies that don't have a presence here, it's definitely one option that's worth considering. I see. Yes. So that's a different. Yeah, that's a good question. Yeah, that's a good question. Yahoo Japan is the biggest company. Biggest internet company in Japan. You are the internet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but that's a uh, big here. Uh, Yahoo Japan is a uh, yeah, very complicated company. So the Yahoo US is big here. And we have uh, no network directly to the startup the industry. So the, we have invested to the software capital, the other startups, or other venture capital to make uh, the network not only for the, uh, the portfolio companies. The, they can interest uh, the other venture capital business. They, they can support uh, the the bigger network in here. I see, I see. But you also you know, need to select good VC that that are VC that are supporting your business. Yeah, yeah I, I think um, on that point, and this is true for any startups here, all money is dumb money. Meaning, money is a commodity. Who you get it from is really kind of the important thing. What I mean by who you get it from, it doesn't have to be a big need. It has to be, if, if, if you really want the support and you want someone to help you, uh, you need to pick your investors carefully. And so the same thing is true when you're raising a fund. You know, at the end of the day, all money is dumb money. You, you, you want to make sure you're getting the right relationship, you're getting the right level of commitment, uh, and that you, you actually have that relationship. Uh, and, and ultimately, that responsibility falls on both sides, the investor and the investee. You have to make sure, again, if you invest, but you don't have anyone here to gather that information, then 
you're just going to be a passive investor. You have to take the next step. You have to have a team on the ground. You have to go to the demo days. You have to, you have to actually physically network, go to events, talk to people, and then it becomes valuable. So you can touch on a little bit, but you know, as an as a Asian corporate uh, investor, how, how do you pitch to startups? You know, what kind of value you are going to pitch to the startups to get, to get the deal done? Yeah, so, the, so we are doing business in Japan, so the, if the startup will want to expand the business in Japan, the, the we can support the many things. So the, and the, so Yahoo Japan is uh, what I think the service is much more than the Yahoo US. So uh, Yahoo US is uh, running the media service and the search service. So Yahoo Japan has uh, another service, uh, other services like the e-commerce, the, the subscription service. Uh, uh, we are doing the, the data infrastructure business. So the, uh, the, we have a group company uh, like uh, the, the, the B2B business. So the, yeah, we, Maybe that we can support the, the distribution for the, the startup the product or the business in Japan. I see. Uh, for us, it's a combination of things because we're uh, a technology company that has uh, what I would call hard technology, we have products and services. Um, just to give you an example, another example, a lot of people don't realize this Yamaha actually was the, one of the first, if not the first company, to start e bikes. E-bikes are just now becoming popular here in the United States. You're seeing all these companies that are starting to come out with different versions of e-bikes. Well, Yamaha has been doing it for 20 years in Japan and Europe. And we have a lot of technology, a lot of know-how, a lot of patents. We've, we've really refined the technology. And so by working with some of these e-bike companies, one of the things that we can give them is we can give them uh, the motor and the, the kit. And, and all they have to work on is the customer experience and the business model. They don't have to worry about engineering the technology. We can become a part supplier, essentially. Um, and so there's a lot of ways that we can really work with companies. And the other thing that's really exciting for us that, that we want to explore, we haven't gotten there yet, is working with hardware companies that you see a lot of startups, they, they build that first prototype, but they can't then go the next step, step and scale. Well, we have factories around the world. We know how to do mass production. And in some cases, we may actually have excess manufacturing capacity in some countries or in some factories that we can maybe use to support our startups and help them do the design process, help them actually accelerate through that kind of learning curve. Okay, and then uh, so these pitches are well received or what do you think so far? Yeah. <laughs> do people like it? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, what about, so, so you, you talk about the team dynamics, right? So as a corporate, you can do a lot of in terms of you know the capability of the company, um, what about the individual? You have you, you both have a lot of experience in the business, actual yeah. operation. So how 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 do you pitch yourself uh, to startups? Yeah, so the, uh, yeah, all point is uh, I used to work for the, the trading company. The, after this, uh, uh, I was working for the joint venture the, uh, inside Japan between the U.S. company and Japan, and the number. Working for the Yahoo Japan is a joint venture between the US company and the Japan company, So the, maybe the, uh, uh, yeah, I can support it. Yeah, many things to the, uh, expand the business uh, in, the, in Japan and uh, how to get into the Japan market with the partners. So the, some, some of the mentioned uh, the, in the previous uh, session, the, in Asian countries, uh, the, most of the company need to the local partner. So the, maybe the Yahoo Japan or DNA, the Yamaha can be the first kind of candidate for the partners so the, and we can support them as a partner. Yeah, we never talked about DNA. I mean, you're, you're a DNA. Yeah, the DNA, DNA has a DNA. Fun, uh, Yeah, time is running out. But uh, <laughs> yeah, so DNA, uh, we do uh, early stage investment. Uh, we have, uh, so we have, DNA is a mobile, big mobile game. But we're trying to invest, right? Invest, uh, well, game tech and, and also outside of uh, the game technology. Uh, mainly focusing on uh, seed stage, series A, and the same, you know, uh, we can help them to grow uh, Japan, and then uh, we have a uh, big uh, footprint in China as well. Uh, and then uh, we do invest in Silicon Valley, uh, all over the US, 
And in South Korea as well, uh, we invest in between uh, the couple of uh, the social network. Uh, and then uh, we just started uh, investing in uh, uh, Southeast Asia. So we're pretty active on that. And also, the, you use that with the self-driving A self-driving uh, self So, so we, do, we do beyond the mobile gaming. Uh, yeah. yeah. So, so maybe, you know, Yamaha. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah, so, um, so the time is running up, uh, but uh, you know, I think takeaway is uh, you know, setting agenda, uh, and then I think uh, the, the strong commitment from the corporate, the headquarters is important, team dynamics, and then uh, and networking, and then uh, so I think that's it. Yeah. But well, thank you for joining the panel. And, uh, thank you. Thank you.